Hello Stinks and welcome to episode 23 of Minecraft Through the Spyglass. Last episode we went ahead and got the unobtainables for version 1.5 and in this episode we are going to be working on making the base for 1.5. As you can see, all of the chests are wrapped in Christmas wrapping paper. Happy holidays to those who celebrate. By the time that this video comes out, it will have passed, so I hope everybody had a good Christmas. What I am working on currently is mining out all of the nether quartz that I've obtained so far, and then creating it into nether quartz blocks, which is taking quite some time. Um, obviously, the area around my nether portal doesn't contain any nether quartz because it was loaded in a version that did not have that in the game yet. I do have to travel pretty far out in order to get this stuff, so it's pretty time consuming collecting it and also mining it out with the fortune pickaxe, which I guess I could just mine it out in the nether, but I forget to do that. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and wrap up finishing all of these and see how much quartz I have, and then from there decide whether or not that's enough for the build for the space. So I'll be right back. So I just finished turning all of the nether quartz into my block of quartz and I really don't think we have enough here but it's enough to get started. So my next plan is going to be lining out a middle path through here. I do have a creative world that I built the base on and so I pretty much have everything planned out. So I'm going to start work on laying out where everything needs to go. Okay so because this is a quartz only build. I figured we could do something that was Roman slash Greek themed. So what I'm thinking is a pathway here that leads all the way back to the back here. And I do have an idea for what ends up being at the back of this path. But on either side of that, there will be, there will be pillars that are made out of quartz pillars that go right here and then probably do stairs around the bottom of them. And I'm thinking that these are gonna go about 15 high. And then some of these are gonna be kind of broke down and ruined and knocked over. And some of them are gonna be com fully complete. But I think that's what I want it to look like. I want it to be very like ruined Greek buildings, if that makes sense. So let me get these pillars made and then I'll be back to update and see what that looks like and how we're feeling about it. Okay, so we have our pillars done now and some of them are broken down. Like I said, I wanted this to look like it was ancient ruins and not super perfect pillars. We have one that is fully knocked over here, kind of coming across. Uh, I'm not sure what I want the pathway to be yet. I'm thinking that I just want to do stone on the sides and then back here we have a platform for a giant statue that i thought would be pretty funny and if you can't guess it i will give you a chance to before i finish it but now i'm gonna go through and add in little broken runes here and there and maybe the pathway and then we can start work on the actual statue at the back there so I do realize that I am I am kind of jumping between all these and it's not very smooth, it's very jump cutty, but it's very hard to record in these early versions. As I've said before, there's many reasons why it's difficult to record. So we're just going to have to kind of roll with the punches until it gets easier. Hopefully soon we'll have that figured out. I'll, I'll be able to record better, but here we are. I have added this um, water path with the stone and then on the other side of the water is carrots because 
This is our pig field where we got our piglin. And then back here I have wrapped it around this base. And I have yet to add all of the carrots in on the side because I don't have enough yet. But eventually I want the outside of this to have quite a few carrots outwards. And then of course we're going to have a statue on top of this um, platform here. I think now I'm going to start work on making this statue and then after that I think we're just down to the small details on the sides here so I think to add some more variety we might do some hilling back here like little hills or mountains and then maybe some more carrots back here. I do think that there should be something on the side of the platform like on this side and that side. I just don't know what yet so it might end up being nothing unless I can figure something out. So I guess let's just jump into building this statue. And again, try and guess it before I get done with it. I think it's gonna be pretty obvious once I start it though. Like I said, it was pretty obvious what the statue was going to be based off of last episode and what you can see around in this episode. So here we have what I've named Mayor Porkstein. So essentially he is just a giant statue of a pig. <laughs> and what's ironic is that this whole section is basically themed around the fact that this was supposed to be an unobtainable for a zombified piglin that has no items in his hand. But obviously, as we saw last episode, I was unable to keep a zombified piglin from despawning in this version because we don't have name tags. And for some reason, they do glitch out of minecarts, so you cannot keep them in minecarts either. We have themed this entire section around something that didn't even work, but that's okay because I do like the quartz and I do think it's a fun theme. The final things I need to do are add in the 1.5 section above here and then add in the stuff on the sides like I was saying earlier. The little extra details kind of here and there that kind of just give a little more texture when you walk through this. I also have to decide where the chest of all the new items will be going. All right, and I think this is gonna wrap up everything that I wanted to get done and I'm actually really pleased with it. It's nice to walk down the path and just kind of see pigs along the sides here. Of course, there are more kind of in the back here. For some reason, they kind of migrate to the back and they kind of have gone to the other sides of the sections. I'm not sure why they prefer it, but they do. But I like this area. I think the statues look really cool. I think the pillars look really nice against the green of the tops of the carrots. Over here we have the chest of all the first items. So this is all of the new blocks and items that 1.5 brought. And then over here we have Mayor Porkstein. And then last I did put the 1.5 title above the section here. And yeah, like I said, I'm pretty happy with it and I think it looks pretty good for 1.5 and 
I think with this, that wraps up everything I want to get done in this episode. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.